Hello and welcome back. My name is Shimona and this is Ethereal Echoes of Yore. Today I am here to talk to you about something that I've been thinking about a lot and I'm going to be I'm going to be upfront with it. Why should you be playing a plate strength slash con based character at the launch? And there's a it, it's it's pretty glaring. It's a pretty glaring problem uh, when it comes to a game like this, where it's more than just an MMO. It's a PvP survival MMO. So your progression, MMO straight up, is just how well you do is basically how much time you put into it or how much money you put into it if those mechanics are in the game. Um, and then when you add PvP to the mix, uh, it increases the value of playing as efficiently as possible, leveling up, uh, doing what you need to do get, to get the gear that you need as fast as possible. So why do I think that you should play a strength-based plate character or a, like a tank, basically? Uh, it comes down to skills. Um, if you haven't played, I don't know if you would call this basically the pre-launch, which was originally the launch, and then you found out about wipe, you probably didn't bother playing anymore. Skilling takes a while. Um, I haven't done a lot on this character. I've been, I had two of my characters bricked, which I leveled professions on. This was my third character after the first two got bricked. And so I did a lot of mining because I was just running around. I wanted to train up my crafting. This is a good amount of work put into crafting. Um, Pretty much all my cash I ever made always went into buying gems where I could. And I, whenever I was running around exploring the map, I also mined pretty much all the gold nodes because the gold nodes had the highest chance to give you the tier 2 gems. Uh, see if I have any of those on me. Yeah, one's like this. The garnet, other ones like that. Just so I could get as much XP as possible. And I even had a couple people just giving me their gems to craft for them. So... Uh, Skilling is going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of time. It's time that you are not going to be able to be putting into actually training your characters or just training your other skills or exploring if that's something you haven't done yet and you still need to do. The map is massive. I'm not going to show it simply for spoiler's sake, um, but I've pretty much mapped out along with a couple of other people that I've met online a good portion of the current map uh, there is a lot of stuff missing they've been kind of removing and adding stuff i don't know why if it's bugged or whatever but there's a large map so there's a lot to explore and so if you haven't explored anything yet you will be doing a lot of exploring uh, circling back let's take a look at the profession list and let's talk about what each kind of class character is going to want to do especially on the launch uh, the launch is a big deal because there isn't going to be any player-owned shops, any player-owned buildings. It's going to be, you know, if you've played yet, there's no world chat, there's no trade chat. Uh, you pretty much have to run up the people, whisper them in game, or join some kind of Discord community. Uh, there's not an easy way to go about buying and selling resources, gear, upgrades. There just isn't. So at the launch of the game... You're kind of up to yourself or if you joined a group of people who have kind of, you know, decided to do, you know, what, what, like if, if for example, if you played old school, uh, not old school, but classic World of Warcraft when it launched, a lot of the big guilds who were very excited and anticipated for it, they pretty much took a couple of their most loyal members and they assigned those people to be the guild crafters. So all the people in the guild would you know, not all, but most of the people in the guild would just pick gathering skills and they would funnel all those resources to just a select few members of the guild. And now that's something that in this game would be extremely valuable. The only problem is with it being a brand new MMO with a small dev team, you can expect player retention to be very low. So a lot of people are going to play for a week, two weeks, maybe a month, and they're going to quit. So if you're not with a group of loyal people or people you trust who will at least continue their subscription to make you items that you need. Uh, funneling all your stuff for the majority of the player base to one character is an option, which means you are basically left to yourself to 
create your own gear, create your own uh, potions, create your own food, you're pretty much forced to level everything yourself. You know, there's a couple things you can get away with, maybe, um, but we'll we'll talk about those. And it's just something to keep in mind. So if we take a look at the skill list, let's just from top to bottom. Uh, the only thing that's missing on here is fishing. Uh, I'm sure fishing is important, but I, you know, with food lasting as long as it does, I think it's like two and a half hours. Is that right? 3,600? No, maybe it, I think it's like an hour. Food lasts a long time. Uh, they have some pretty good base food that you can get at a low level. Um, if there's higher tier food, you know, whatever, maybe that's something in the future. Fishing, I'm not too worried about for most people. Uh, cooking, it's the same thing. They have pretty decent food at a low level, so I don't expect a lot of people to need to have to grind out cooking, especially with how the current system on gathering cooking supplies is. It's not great. Um, <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll survive off the base food. Um, in terms of herbalism and alchemy, uh, I think that will be important for every player. You know, crafting your own health potions, crafting your own mana potions, crafting your own strength decks, and I'm assuming there's also an int pot. Uh, those will be very important, and it's going to be hard to find players to get that off of because, you know, a lot of players will be crafting their own, their own supplies, and eventually there's going to become higher level uh, recipes and higher level potions that are discovered. And, you know, if there's like a couple people with the level, you know, it's going to be hard to get. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard to get your hands on those um, with the current mechanics in the game at launch. Uh, continuing on, you've got mining and blacksmithing. And we'll skip over those for now. Let's go ahead and head down to... Well, I guess we'll, we'll still go back. So let's think about every class. What are professions I think every class would need to do? I think every class would need to do herbalism. Uh, simply because every class would need to do alchemy. Um, every class would need to do cooking, just to cook some food. They may not have to grind it up, but they'll have to do a little bit of it. Um, I also believe every class will have to do crafting. Jewelry is such a huge part of your character. It gives so many base stats. This, And I've only 11 crafting. I think I have like a 70% chance to make these tier 2 gold rings. And like I said, I'm, maybe I haven't mentioned it on this, but... I put a lot of money into training jewel crafting. Uh, crafting. I put a lot of a lot of my own cash. I had a lot of people I met who just gave me gems to make them jewelry. I had a lot of people who just don't made, made their stockpile of gems because they realized, you know, they had like 20, 30, 40 gems. But in the grand scheme of things, those 40 gems are just, they're useless. They really are just useless because they're not going to get them anywhere. Those 40 gems might get them up to like eight crafting and then... You know, so what? I can I still have a higher chance to make better stuff. They might as well just give me the stuff to make it for them. Uh, but again, that works. You know, that that goes back to the problem with, you know, it's hard to dedicate one person to do something because if that person quits and leaves, then all of a sudden you're you're kind of screwed, and it's hard to find people to craft stuff for you. Um, I'm sure you can make friends and you can do it, and you know, it's something you can figure out. But I think most people will want to level their own crafting. Um, so if you're going to want to level your own crafting, you're going to need mining and smithing. And maybe that's kind of where my head is wrapped around that, like, doesn't make sense. It's like, but we'll, we'll come back to that. So mining blacksmithing, I feel like most people will take, aside from also the jewelry effect, it's the highest, the highest, most profitable profession skill combo you can use. Uh... Herbalism and tailoring and skinning and leatherworking, all of those pieces of gear probably sell for like a fifth the price to the vendor. With, I feel like, mining and smithing being easier to level than the other two. Um, at least skinning, you get to kill some mobs, maybe you get some XP, maybe you get some extra resources, but it is unbearably slow to think about going from mob to mob, killing a mob, looting it, skinning it, hoping that 10 second skin window, some random mob doesn't pad over and attack you and cancel it. And I mean, it's a nightmare. Uh, herbalism and uh, tailoring 
it's a little bit different. I mean, you're going to spend more time running around the map, exploring. And I think it's a good combination to combo with mining and smithing because, you know, mining and smithing, it's the same thing. You kind of got to run around the map and do things. So it's not too bad, but, uh, you know, when, when you're running around just picking up herbs, you're not really finding things. Um, it's weird. But again, I, it comes back to the reason I think most people will want to do mining and blacksmithing just to make some money. Let alone, you know, you're mining already, you're going to want to get some crafting XP for mining. So if you're a plate user, you don't have to do tailoring. You don't have to do leatherworking. The only reason I think you would do tailoring is because you want to, you know, make yourself some bandages. But to put so much time and effort just to make some bandages, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of tailors out there who would be more than happy to craft you all your bandages and similarly with leatherworking i think the only thing you care about from leatherworking is making better bags but with how bag stacking works if you see here you know i've got two bags on my side slots to give me more carry capacity along with the backpack i haven't even upgraded yet and then of course you can stack more backpacks on backpacks and more backpacks and it's like you know it's 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 not a big deal. Um, you can probably give them like, <laughs> I don't know what you would give them, but I'm sure most leather workers will just make you, you upgraded backpacks for free. If you just hang around the leather working bench and message people or, you know, offer them like five silver, or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's weird. And maybe, maybe now that I'm talking about it more, I'm realizing maybe if you're playing one of these other classes, you just have to forego doing any sort of crafting. You have to forego doing any kind of mining, doing any kind of blacksmithing, any kind of crafting, and kind of full send on your just your two set. But continuing on, that kind of only applies really, I think, to rogues. Any any kind of uh, well, no, it doesn't because. Let me continue on. Let's say assassin, for example. I obviously need leather working and skinning to make my gear. Um, if we ignore the jewel crafting, I still have to make weapons too, which require enchanted blacksmithing supplies. So really, you know, unless you have a blacksmithing friend or you know somebody or, you know, whatever, you're really going to have to level that too. You're also going to need logs, but logs are, logs are, fairly inexpensive so they're not really a big deal because uh, you only have to get like one or two logs each time you create a new weapon it's you can, you're just gonna have to find somebody who's doing that um, and it kind of applies the same way you're like well you know you don't have to level mining blacksmithing just find a blacksmith who can make your weapon that is true but everything has durability so eventually you're gonna need to repair your weapons um, I think you can pay the vendors to repair them I'm not 100% sure on that. I mean, you'll need the resources to repair them, and maybe you can just pay a higher fee to the vendor. But um, it also circles back to blacksmithing just being the highest based wealth generator in the game currently. <laughs> Aside from just killing stuff, but uh, if you're going to level profession, it'd be nice to make money. Uh, when we get over into the tailoring and, you know, some of the other leather workers, you get into different weapon types. You get into staves, you get into bows. So now all of a sudden, not only do you have to have skinning and leather working to make your armor, you're going to need wood cutting and woodworking to make your weapon. And it's like, why am I doing all this when I could literally just take mining and blacksmithing? I can craft all my armor. I can craft all my weapons. I can craft my jewelry and I can make a fuck ton of money while I'm doing it. It just... It, it's super unbalanced, and again, this is kind of only a launch problem. As soon as you get past launch, people level up their stuff. You know, there's people that are okay going a little bit slower. Um, it's not a huge deal. It, it, in my mind, though, it just, as an efficiency standpoint, it makes more sense to start out as a strength-based strength -based plate user. You know, get a high level, make a bunch of money, run the high-level dungeons, get a super high-level mining, blacksmithing, you know, make a ton of gold, buy your properties, buy everything you need, and then just level up a second character and pay some guy to, you know, make you gear, or 
you know, buy lower level gear that he no longer needs, like leftover hand-me-downs, and you'll probably have two max level characters before that guy even maxes out his first character because he's doing so much stuff. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I thought about putting a post on the Discord, like a suggestion about it, but it's it's really quite a difficult issue to solve. And the more I think about it in the grand scheme of things, it really only matters for like the super people like me who are super tryhard, super efficient and don't, I mean, I have a group of people I'm going to be playing with, but I, I don't really have anybody I can a hundred percent rely on. So I feel like I have to do all these things myself. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped. Uh, if you were on the line about uh, choosing a class to play, I hope this kind of helped. Maybe I'll make another video tomorrow before launch, and I'll go through and I'll get like all the uh, all the strength based plate classes. I'll get them up to their sec their mainland uh, class quest, and I'll kind of talk over their abilities and how it felt leveling. And uh, so, if you decide to go this route. You have a good idea. I think as of right now, I'll probably go Berserker. But again, that that's me not having tried any of the other plate classes. I'm not even sure which other ones are considered plate DPS. Like, I know there's Earth Guard, there's Dragon Knight, there's Demon Knight. Um, but again, I'm not sure which of those are classified as DPS or just tank. And I think there's also, like, a hybrid tank. Um, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I, I think maybe another option might be kind of like a Warden. Um, I think Wardens are Wisdom-based. I don't know if you can make Wisdom plate gear, if that's a thing. But I think they use, like, daggers. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see if I have some time tomorrow. I've got a lot of work, and I want to get done before the launch. Um, I guess a couple other things to mention. Uh, strength food is, like one of the first food recipes you get uh granted you can get this attack speed food uh but the strength food is literally just wolf meat and two mushrooms i mean you can get a ton of it super early on it's no big deal the dps food if you can buy some bananas from the shop uh great otherwise you're stuck until you get to the half works and the half works drop some bananas um and the caster food like the int food or whatever, uh, it requires raw poultry, which again, if you tried to farm any of it, is super rare. It's kind of a pain. Uh, if we go in to look at alchemy, I don't want to give up like uh, the recipes, any spoilers. I mean, if, if you want to know it's out there, you can find it. Uh, but I'm trying not to spoil much. There's a strength potion, which is really easy to make. I think you need maybe like I don't even know what alchemy am I. I'm 10. You probably need like 7 or 8 alchemy to make it, if even that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I there's a dex potion that is a higher level. Um, and I don't even know of any cast or DPS potions yet. Um, there's also, of course, the poison. What do, what do you call it? This one, weapon coating poison, which just you put it on your weapon, just like this. You can see, uh, where did it go? Oh, there we go. You can see there down at the bottom, it does weapon poison coating, and it lasts for five minutes and it adds five nature damage to all your attacks, which again, you can put on both weapons. And if you don't know how the whole weapon system works right now, two handers are practically useless simply because two one-handers is basically double the damage of a two-hander in terms of just flat dps so yeah there's just like i i don't know what else to say it's crazy to me and i keep trying to be like i want to play an assassin but like i tried level skinning it took me so long to get to nine skinning to give you an idea, let and let's let's run over here real quick. Just at least in my perspective, as somebody who wants to play DPS and play semi-efficiently, here's a wolf, right? We 
we're going to kill it. We're going to loot it. Mainland loot drops are kind of terrible, bugged. You can't even get wolf meat in the mainland. You can only get it from the guy. Uh, sometimes they drop adrenal glands, but it's rare. But look at how much XP this gives. Doesn't even, I think it'll tell me here. 25 XP in skinning at 9 skinning. And this is... I think you... I, I don't know what level corrupted is. I think corrupted might be level 13 is a 100% chance, but you can start at level 10. But let's pretend like you have to get level 10 killing wolves and skinning them. That's almost 10,000 XP. If we take 10,000 XP, we divide that by 25 XP at skin. You have to kill skin 400 wolves just to get the level 10 skinning. And that's not even a 100% chance. I think, I think a 100% chance to get corrupted leather. Do you know how long killing and skinning 400 animals is going to take? It takes about, if you have a steel skinning knife, I think I have iron on this character, yeah. If you have a steel skinning knife, it takes about 9 seconds uh, to kill the animal. It takes me about like half a second, but running between animal to animal, let's say like, let's be generous and let's say it takes 3 seconds to go from, I mean, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, let's say 3 seconds. So you're spending about 13 seconds of skin realistically it's probably more about like 15 but let's say 13 seconds of skin so 400 kills times 13 seconds 5200 seconds you divide that by 60 that's 86 minutes 1.4 looking at it now it's not too bad it's in an hour and a half of skinning um let alone the time it takes to craft which again i i really want to count but it's going to take you an hour and a half of skinning just to get to the base level. You have a chance to skin the next tier of hide, which mind you is, I think they're like level 16 to 20 and they, they apply this really nasty debuff. I'm not going to go into it, but, uh, an hour and a half just to get to a chance to get leather from, or a hide from them. Let's say, and I'm not 100% on this, let's say level 13. Let's be generous. Let's say level 12, you have a 100% chance. You go all of a sudden from 10,000, about 16,500 to your hour and a half, pretty much changed to about 2.5 hours. Two and a half hours just to be able to make the tier four armor. Um, and you've still got to do everything mining and smithing, to make your weapons. You have to find somebody who's going to give you wood to make your weapons. Uh, you know, if you don't want to, like, level your own blacksmithing, I mean, you're going to have to get some blacksmith to keep repairing your weapon. I mean, it's a nightmare. I'm sorry for rambling. You know, you, I guess you could have cut off earlier after I kind of started rambling, but whatever. Um, it's kind of sad because I do like Assassin a lot, but like I said, it, it just makes more sense for me to start as a plate user, uh, get to making some real money and then just finding some guy who did all this stuff and making it all like it, it, that's really all it is. But, um, I hope this helped. I'll try and release another video tomorrow talking about all the different strength plate classes. Uh, I won't do any of the tank classes just cause that's not really something I'm interested in. But if there's like a hybrid tank, uh, tank support or not tank support, a hybrid tank DPS or a hybrid DPS support, that is a strength based, uh, I don't want to say strength based plate, but just pretty much strength based. Um, strength based implies that it's plate because that's the only armor class that can have strength on it. So uh, any of those DPS, full DPS or half DPS cl uh, classes that are strength based, I'll try and make a video on them, at least with the up to their mainland class ability. So we can talk about them some more, but I uh, hope this helps. Uh, Another little shout out if you're playing on NA East PVE Silver Lake, uh, hit me up. I am in the Discord. There is a link to our Discord server in that Discord. Uh, just look me up at Shimona on the Discord and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.